Hello and welcome to this video on finding what a value is as a percentage of another. Now let's just say I asked what fraction of students or what proportion of students pass the maths exam if 27 out of the 30 pass. Well the fraction of students that pass is 27 out of 30 and we can write that as a fraction like this, couldn't we? Now we could simplify that fraction if we divided both the numerator and the denominator by 3 27 becomes 9 and 30 becomes 10. So 9 tenths of the students passed. And therefore what percentage? Well we know from the video on converting between fractions and decimals and percentages that to convert a fraction to a percentage we could multiply it by 100. Or this is one of the kind of simpler fractions that we should just know what percentage it is. So when we times 9 tenths by 100, and 9 tenths times 100, you could also say it as 9 tenths of 100, well 9 tenths of 100 is 90%. So 9 tenths is the same as 90%. So therefore to find out what percentage one value is of another, we could work out first what fraction or what proportion one value is of another, and then convert it to a percentage by just multiplying by 100. So let's illustrate with these examples. Sheila lost 20 of her 80 koalas. What percentage was that? So it's 20 as a percentage of 80. So we just write what fraction 20 is of 80 first. So 20 out of 80 of her koalas were lost. And then times that by 100. And when we do that, we just get 25%. So we've got 25%. And that seemingly makes sense because 20 out of 80 is a quarter and a quarter is 25 as a percentage. But this also works when the number's more awkward and we can't do it in our head. So what about 28 pounds as a percentage of 95? So it's 28 pounds as a percentage of 95 pounds. So, we work out what fraction 28 is of 95, so we do 28 out of 95, and then we convert that fraction to a percentage by just multiplying by 100. So I definitely need a calculator for that one. 28 divided by 95, and then that gives you, as a decimal, 0 0.2947, times that by 100, because we want to convert that to a percentage. Press the SD key, and we can see it is 29 0.5% and I've rounded that to three significant figures. Do you remember that significant figures just means that you're keeping the first three digits starting from the first non-zero digit. And finally this third one, Leif, that's also an Australian name, Leif scored 67 out of 80 in his maths test. What was his score as a percentage? So it's 67 as a percentage of 80. So what we do is we find out, well, what fraction of the test did he get right? Well, it's 67 80ths of the test. And then we convert that to a percentage by multiplying by 100. So we do 67 out of 80 times it by 100, press the SD key, and it was 83.75%. It's a pretty good score. And that is it.